Hi, uh, my name is Paul Reddy, I'm the St Rock's Vice President. We are in the middle of a process of trying to rebuild this famous old historic club. It was started in 1920 um, by haste of an inter-parish tournament. Uh, every chapel in Glasgow played um, when they got to the final, which was at Parkhead. Uh, St Rock's won the final that year and they were given a bunch of prize money. Some of it went to Lang Bank Home, which was a charity home and £100 of that was kept towards funding a brand new club. Maybe the main starter of the club in the first place, Father Lawton. Um, so he was here continuing, even 15 years after the club had started, continuing to support, find out a new home. And this was Proven Mill Park up until recently, whereby we've all came in to try and help rebuild this place. Very, very honoured to have Mr McGroy's name on the, on the park. He's our greatest son, the greatest thing that's probably produced in Scottish football. Highest goal scorer in the UK ever, and probably only better by Pelly. Hi, my name is Andy Cameron, currently manager of St Rocks. In terms of football, I only played at amateur level and uh, began management uh, at the local amateur team, Block Young Star. I was manager of the first team for five years and then also took the B team, which is younger boys, for three, three years as well. I'm now in my fourth season at St Rocks, uh, really enjoying it. Uh, we're currently sitting in third at, at the moment. Uh, last season, I'll, I'll probably give you a wee bit of context. Uh, we, when we came here, the club were second bottom of the bottom division. Uh, and we started off that season pretty poorly. However, we had a good run towards the end of that season and we managed to get promotion on the very last day. Uh, at that point, uh, the club had never uh, stayed up after promotion for almost 40 years. So the second season here was really about uh, ensuring that we sustained that position within the division. Done a wee bit better than that and finished fifth. Last season two teams were going up and throughout the whole course of the last season we weren't really out of the top three. Uh, so it became a push between ourselves, Lark Paul, Thistle and Cam Slang Rangers. On reflection, uh, we probably as a group of players weren't quite ready to take a step up at that point. So at the start of this season we looked to reinvigorate the squad by bringing in some more experienced players. The youngest player in the squad is probably about 20 and the oldest player, Tam Hanlon, is about 63. So we've got a great, great range of players. Tam's about 36. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a very competitive league. Any manager in the division will tell you this, and, and you probably heard this type of cliche said before, but it's a sort of division where anybody can beat anybody. Hey, there's a whole range of different types of surfaces and stuff. There's, there's, there's whole G, 3 G. Hey, there's some pitches that cut up badly, there's others that are really good for uh, the So, what we, where we need to be is we need a team to the philosophy of the However, we did adapt a bit this season so that we can adapt to different circumstances in different countries. So, uh, it's a good level. Uh, there's, there's, there's players playing in the league who played at a very high level. There's teams in our division that are playing quite high money. Uh, and if we take the take step up next year, we'll be even more competitive. Hi, I am Stephen Mullen. Presently, I'm the treasurer of St Rock's Juniors Football Club. The future of the club is becoming a self-sustaining club. The new we depend on people coming through the gates, but we fall a wee bit back. In recent years, we've introduced a Christmas day for pensioners. We've introduced a Christmas day for homeless people. Last year, we had a party for the children in the area where everybody got everything. <coughs> it was like an all-inclusive. In the past year, we've had a homework club for kids for the local thing to do their hires. We've brought in, <coughs> excuse me, tutors from Strathclyde Junior. It's starting to fall away a wee bit and we need to get it back. So as a club, we need to get more into our community involvement again. It's dying a wee bit of your death and that's down to us to redo it. Football wise, club wise, the centenary of St York's is 2020. We've already organised a civic reception with Glasgow City Council. Our aim is to be in the Super Premier League for that. And we are, people look up to us as a role model in junior football. When we became, again, back a wee bit when we involved, we were looked down on we got all trackies for the SFA, and they treated us with real disdain. Now, we bring things to the table, and they don't like it. So we need to get it where we're welcomed at all these different places, all these different grounds, and within junior football. Because it rocks is sort of pretty unique, and we've got great contacts now throughout football, and upper echelons of SPFL. To look favourable on us and help us, and that's where we need to go, where we're doing things for them and back to the local community.